Hey guys, what's up? So it is actually a couple days later since I've actually filmed this entire video. I'm just getting some cute videos of my outfit, but I wanted to quickly come on here before this video started because after editing the video, as much as I'm proud of myself, or the costume I made. The video itself isn't the best video I've ever made, to be honest. So the lighting in the room that I filmed this video in already wasn't the greatest. The sun ended up going down because I took a little bit longer than I thought I was going to. My battery kept on dying, my card kept on going full, and I've been like sick for the past week, so I just didn't have the highest energy in the video. And honestly, when making this costume, I kind of was just guessing what to do. I never had really done it before, so this was me just kind of like putting my idea out into this costume and filming it. So if I'm not explaining it the best, that's why. And I know when my battery did die a couple times, it ended up cutting out some parts, but I hopefully explained it enough towards you get the idea that maybe you could do it too. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly come on here and say that. So if this is your first time seeing a video from me, I don't want you to think that this is the quality all my videos come in. That's just what ended up happening, but I'm still super impressed with the costume. So if you want to see my DIY cowgirl costume, keep watching. Hey guys, what's up? So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a DIY cowgirl Halloween costume. If you've seen my fall thrift haul, then you've seen me pick up these pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys anyway for those who haven't seen it. So while I was at the thrift store, I picked up these denim pants and then this dress. And then I went ahead and bought these bathing suit bottoms online at Forever 21. So that's everything I have for this costume. And I wanna point out, me the key item in this video are the, gonna be the denim. I have like two or three variations of what I think I'm gonna do with this in case you know one of them doesn't end up going well but I'm gonna go through all of these you guys are kind of just going with the movements with me hopefully this even turns out well but yeah let's see what we can do so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the top portion of this costume this dress it's like brown suede and then a leather or faux leather top and kind of what inspired me was just this top portion alone like right here I feel like if I cut it right along here this could be a really cute just vest so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and as always when working with clothes I recommend fabric scissors it just gives you a nicer cut okay, so I'm just laying it flat I want to unbutton it because it's pulling a little bit so now I'm just gonna cut along the seam Okay, so now we're just left with the vest. A concern I had with this is honestly, I haven't even tried this on to see if this even is gonna fit. Okay, so I'm just gonna try this on over my shirt. Okay, so it is a little bit loose. So I might have to just take it in a little bit, but I'm gonna leave it just like this for now I'm not gonna do much too much work to it because I also kind of have another idea for the top So I'm just gonna leave this as it is right now because it could still be cute just to be opened with a different top underneath So I'm gonna put this to the side. I know that dress was very specific Not everyone's gonna be able to find that piece at their thrift store Which is why I kind of wanted to play with this idea about a little bit with just using the denim so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm gonna do with the denim now. There's just a pair of mom jeans. They're a little bit oversized. They do fit me a little bit in the waist. I think of course they're gonna still be a little bit big on me as most jeans are. You guys, I'm actually really nervous because this is like definitely just an idea and I don't know how well this is gonna go. So let's see. All right, so this could go wrong very easily, but I think I wanna try and make these pants into like chaps. So what I think I'm gonna try and do is keep just the button and then cut right where the pockets start and cut a little bit like maybe mid thigh. I'm like really figuring this out with you guys. Like I don't really know what I'm doing. I probably should have practiced this before I made this video. So I just have it folded in half, super flat. I wanna be able to see the zipper and the buttons. Make sure that side's super flat. I wanna definitely get here and start a little bit higher on the leg just so I can play with it. I'm like actually nervous because I haven't tried this at all. Like I haven't tested this, <laughs> which I probably should have. I feel like the best way is to just do it evenly. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna freestyle it right now because the pockets I didn't think about. So I'm just doing the front-ish. 
So I'm just gonna, ah! Okay, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Okay, so I can actually see a line. I don't think we can see it, but there's a line where the pocket is. And then I'm just gonna fold this over so I can create an even cut. And I'm kind of using the belt loops as a marker so I know that's as far as I want to cut. And then again, I'm just gonna follow the other side of it and kind of use that as a guide. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Alright, that was only a little bit scary, but this is what we have. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it on and see if I completely mess this up. We're gonna try it on. Let's see. And this is where these come in, the bathing suit bottoms. I specifically got these because they're like a leather material or like a pleather, whatever you want to use. And kind of wear them like that. Let's try it on. I'm gonna try it on. Okay, so I just did the cuts. I'm a little nervous. Fingers crossed that this works the way I imagined it to because if not, then this is, that's just it. That's just the end of the video. Okay, let me try this on. So I have everything on. I have the pants on. I have the vest kind of hanging with just a black. I need to cut down the pockets because you can see them. So yeah, I think this is cute. This is kind of what I imagined, but I kind of wanted to take it a step further. And this is why I was kind of saying the denim is the most important part of this because I want to try and use this leftover fabric and see if I can make like a little top for this. So let's see if we can try that. I think I'm just going to go ahead and try and make like just like a triangle top and see if I can make that work. So let's see if I can figure that out. So we really don't have a lot of denim to work with, I'm going to be honest. I think I'm going to have to cut along here to have a strap long enough to go around my body. So I grabbed a bathing suit and I'm just going to use this as the trace. I definitely want to save as much of this as possible for here. So I'm going to go ahead and try and do that first. And so I kind of like how this could be cute for like the triangle. You wanna try and save as much fabric as possible. So being a little bit more smarter with your cuts, like I'm not just cutting anywhere because this could be used as a strap. I'm cutting as close as I can around the zipper to save that fabric. And you always wanna make it a little bit bigger to have room to fold over. Okay, so now we have somewhat even little toppy tops. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this one to match it because it's like clearly two different sizes. Okay, if I'm being really honest with you guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just have these little squares for the top and then a bunch of like long pieces that I'm going to make into the straps. So not quite sure what I'm doing, but we're going to figure it out. Let's go ahead and pin. Okay, so now I have both of the sides pinned and I'm only pinning these two top sides. I'm gonna leave the bottom raw so when I do the band, I'm just gonna sew it with it. So now I'm just gonna sew a straight line going down this side and this side. Okay, so this is number uno. I'm gonna cut off this excess later, but I'll just do the second. Okay, so my camera died and my other battery wasn't charged either. So while I was doing that, I went ahead and pinned the bottom of this. And so pretty much what I did is I took one of these pieces of denim and folded it once like this. And then I, I placed the triangle top in between it and then folded that other piece over. 
So in between, so this is folded over, so pretty much in between this fold and this would be the triangle top. I don't know if you can tell. So that's the initial fold and it's in between there. So now I'm gonna sew this together. That was actually super tedious and it did take quite some time. So we're, we're gonna, so we're gonna sew it now. <laughs> Okay, so it's officially connected. Now I need to make straps, which I'm a little nervous about because I really don't know if I honestly have enough fabric. So I'm just gonna take this strap and again, just fold it in thirds and just make it one long strap. All right, so we have a strap. So this will go on either side. And I feel like the proper thing to do would be to like fold it over and then sew it. But this is just so thick. I'm just gonna straight up sew it together because it's so thick. So this is strap number two. I connect two pieces. Guys, I thought this was gonna be quick. I thought this was gonna be a quick DIY. It wasn't. So now we need to connect this to this with the straps. I always make sure it go back and forth a couple times. Just to make sure they're really on there. Yee! And they're long enough to be tied. So that's incredible. Now I need to make top straps. To okay, also I just wanna clarify, if I'm not explaining this very well, it's because really I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I do have an idea. Like I have very basic sewing skills, but like I'm guessing I'm like, pretty excited though because it's like Loki going off like this is working like this is something we have something going on here but like don't ask me to do it again because that ain't gonna happen but like this is cute I'm excited for this and the straps is it's just tedious and that's why I like really don't feel like doing the top ones but let's get it done let's let's get this over with because once these straps are done I think this is gonna be a complete outfit so I do this all over again long enough okay I definitely think it's long enough so now connect this to this okay so my camera died but I just did the same thing to the other side as I did to the first one so this is the final product like I said before I went off yeah oh this is cute as Okay, now I'm gonna go put the whole outfit on to see the final look. Okay. You guys, I went off. Like, I actually went the f off. And I'm gonna show you guys my final outfit. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. I have the chaps, the leather bathing suit, my tap, the little vest, and then the cowgirl hat. Like, this goes off. I'm like actually way more upset. And oh, oh, oh. And then I added this little pant chain that I got from a pair of pants. Just as like a little detail, I'd probably wear this with like a chunky chain necklace too or or something like that i just wanted to add a little bit of some some but yeah i would wear these with calico boots but i don't own any and i just don't think i'm gonna buy some so i just have like black booties on but yeah so this is the final look
But alright guys, I'm not gonna lie, I was really worried at the beginning of this video. I didn't think I was gonna be able to pull it off. But I'm actually really obsessed with this. So I did the damn thing again. <laughs> don't ask me to do this again because I don't think I can because I don't know what I did. But yeah, I hope this was inspiring. It's a little lesson if you don't think you can do something, try it anyway because you might. And you might go off. I think I'm a professional now. Project Runaway on my way. So, but yeah, I'm actually like so obsessed with this outfit, so I can't wait for Halloween. Let me know if you guys want to see any more videos. I think I'm going to do another Halloween video before the month is over. So stay tuned for that. Comment below what your favorite part of the outfit was. Have you ever made a costume? What other costumes should I maybe try to make? Should I do another one of these maybe? I don't know. We'll see. And as always, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I had a lot of fun making this video, actually, despite the fact that it was super tedious. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.